All right, everybody, welcome to the 2020 BMW M4 Cabriolet. This has the competition package uh, and, and pretty much every option that this vehicle can be fitted with from the factory. Uh, and we're just gonna go for a drive, quick POV behind the wheel. I'm gonna shut up after we take off. Um, I'm going to attempt launch control. I think I have everything right. Uh, so we'll see. I'm not too sure though. Wow. <laughs> on the ground creates for a very uh, dramatic <laughs> launch control if I had to pick a word. All right, so 2020 BMW M4. It's got the three liter inline six under the hood by turbo. Uh, it's putting down, well, from factory, this makes 425 horsepower and 406 pound feet of torque. But here with the competition package, uh, it is actually bumped up to 444 horsepower and the same 406 pound-feet of torque. Um, now that 406 pound-feet of torque, BMW states will carry from uh, four to 5,000 RPM, I believe is peak, uh, peak torque, and then peak power is, uh, I believe, 55 to uh, 7,000 RPM. So here we go for a drive. I'm going to turn traction kind of off, kind of on, uh, because, it is somewhat invasive, but at the same time, I do want, you know, a little bit of slippage. I want some fun, uh, but I do also want to be safe. <laughs> uh, so as you can see, lots of carbon fiber on the interior here. Uh, and as soon as this car moves out of the way, then we can have a little bit of fun. Uh, the M4 is, it's worth it to be said, the cab starts $10,000 more expensive than the coupe does, at least up here in Canada. The coupe starts at $79,000 Canadian and the cab starts at $89,000 Canadian. This M4 as tested, believe it or not, is $120,000 Canadian out the door. I'll shut up, let's go for a drive. see the heads up display as well you guys but if you go into m1 mode which is effectively everything in sport plus um, the engine throttle response in sport plus as well as the suspension in sport plus and the steering in sport plus as well and then it gives you that crazy horizontal tack in the heads up display which is honestly fair. Mm -hmm. Also worth it to be noted, you guys, uh, this M4, because we are up here, uh, 
in Vancouver, BC, up in Canada. It's pretty cold. <laughs> it's you know late November, uh, and it is very cold. Um, pretty much around freezing temperatures right now, or at least in the mornings. Um, so this car is actually fitted with snow tires, and it does not have a staggered tire setup as a factory M4 would have uh, with a you know a performance tire on it for the summer. Uh, it is 255s up front and 255s in the rear versus 275s if you were to get uh, the summer tire package. I'm just waiting for a gap ahead of us uh, so, so we can give her a little bit through these corners, but um, yeah, it's definitely worth it to be noted. As you saw back there, the rear end got a little bit loose, but that's what I'm saying. Like stability control is still on, traction is off, and the M management, like it manages the, tr manages the traction even with those skinnier rear tires really well. I mean, it's much more tail happy than it would be normally. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. Let's finish up these last few corners. Here. you guys well that is a POV perspective of the 2020 M4 cab with the competition package as well as pretty much every other option in the Sun this has $26,000 worth of options on it <laughs> you can buy an R33 Skyline GTR for less than $26,000 or right pretty much right around 26 grand so um, that's that's something to to take note of. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, watch the full review. This is not a review, you guys. Uh, some of you guys have not caught on to that, uh, but the POV videos are just a bonus that we kind of do for you guys. Um, and then the full review, you know, all the cinematic shots and whatnot. Uh, with the top down, we'll go over all the features inside and out in that video. The link is in the description, so definitely check that out. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit me up on Instagram at Roads Untraveled if you want to check out uh, kind of what we're shooting on a day-to-day -day basis on some behind-the-scenes stuff, and that's about that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time.